as users now have more and more electronic devices, they have more and more chargers. And you have to find that original charger if you want to pursue the maximum charging power of each device. If you go out on a travel or business trip, those chargers are your nightmares. To solve this problem, Sugreen has launched their 100 watts 3C1A Gen Fast Charger. Her selling points are small size, four charging ports, and very wide compatibility. When we open the box, the stuff inside is very simple, only a charger as well as a manual. The charger is very simple in shape with the black frosted material all over. Two sides are the Ugreen and 100 watts logo. The back is some information about the charger and foldable plug. Three Type-C ports and a USB-A port in front. The purple rubber chip inside the USB-A also shows that this port also supports fast charging. If I hold the charger in my hand, it doesn't look like it's small. But I compare a Xiaomi's 120 watts and 68 watts chargers together. You will know that the 100 watt Ugreen Gen charger isn't very big. If I compare the 96 watt charger of the MacBook, Ugreen's charger is even considered small. Because of the foldable plug design, it can save more storage space and is very friendly to people who travel and business trip frequently. The biggest secret of making the charger smaller is the introduction of the new material gallium nitrate. This third generation gallium nitrate semiconductor helps the charger to generate less heat and fasten the heat dispensing rate process. At the meantime, the charger provides double power density and reduces power losses by 80%, which also means increases the power efficiency. Sometimes the Ugreen 100 watt charger will even charge faster than the original charger. 30 watt charger included with the Lenovo Shosin Pad Pro 2021, 12 point inch tablet. The actual input power is about 25 watts and the Ugreen 100 charger can reach up to about 30 watts. It can charge up to 40% in half an hour from 0 to 100%. It's also much faster than the original 30 watt charger and it has a number of protection measures such as overcurrent and over voltage protection so this charger may really be faster and safer than your original charger. A charger, even if the power is high, charging protocol is too little, cannot be considered a good charger. So let's look directly at the actual test data. First look at the USB-C 1 port. We can see that it supports not only PD, PPS, QC protocols, but also fast charging pro protocols for mainstream phones such as Apple 2.4, Ample, Samsung BC 1.2, and AFC, Huawei's FCP and SCP, etc. PDO also shows that it has five fixed voltage levels and set of PPS level from 3.3 to 21 voltage, 3 ampere. USB-C2 is the same as C1, so we won't go into details. The USB-C3 has almost the same charging protocol as C1 and C2, except that it lacks QC20 voltage. The C3's PDO shows that it supports four fixed voltage levels, there are two lower power PPS levels, and USB-A port supports less PD protocol compared to USB-C3 port. Other protocols are the same as USB-C3. If you are char charging more than two devices at the same time, here's an official picture of the maximum power corresponding to each port. We will not test one by one, you can pause to look closely. It doesn't matter if you can't read the above charging protocols, the brief answer is Basically, any device that can support fast charging can be fast charged on this device. Fast charging compatibility is very good. Even if you can't find the original charger, there is no problem to use it instead. Next, we took a few devices to test the charging. First, a few brands of phones. iPhone 13 Pro can be activated to the highest power up to 18 watts. Mi 11 Ultra can be up to 26 watts. Vivo X70 Pro Plus can be up to 10 watts. 
Huawei Mate 40 Pro can be up to 12 watts. iPhone 7 can be up to 5 watts. Lenovo Shoshin Pad Pro 12.6-inch tablet can be up to 30 watts. Huawei MacBook 14s can be up to 80 watts, means it is also possible to charge office laptops at full power. The Nintendo Switch is also capable of activating the dock TV mode with it. Let me explain here at that sometimes the slow charging of your device is not always a problem with the charger. It could be the cable or the protocol supported by your device itself. With the same charger, the Mi 11 Ultra can reach 26 watts and the X70 Pro Plus just under 10 watts. The reason is that Vivo's fast charging protocol is private and it's not compatible with our other protocols. Only Vivo's charger can be used to activate the fast charging function, so it's useless for charger manufacturers to do a good job. I hope that the manufacturers of all kinds of electronic products can, be, can do a good job of charging compatibility so that consumers can really benefit. After the above test, we know how great the Ukraine 100 watts 2C1A GAN fast charger really is. First of all, it's foldable and smaller than most chargers of the same power. Then, it has four ports, meaning you can use one charger to charge all four, your, four, four of your devices at the same time. And it has a superb range of charging protocols, which also means that all your devices are capable of fast charging. That's what's most important for a multi-port high power charger. The last thing is its price. 79.99 is definitely not very cheap, but if you use codes, you can go it up to 59.99 at less than 60 bucks. I think it's still worth the purchase. Well, that's all there is in this video. If you like the video, you can give it a like and leave a comment below. I'm James from Gizmo China, and I'll see you in the next time.